Hi everyone, I'm Tony with Harper Therapy. And I'm Jamie. And we are continuing our uh, monthly journey about just the holiday anxiety and that it's not always um, the happiest time of the year. Yes, and we're going to talk today about identifying triggers and mm -hmm. getting your pregame on. And I like to think of like how people pregame before a football game, like mm -hmm. they're out, they're getting ready, mm -hmm. they're like, you know, focused, they're rooting for their team, they're throwing the football, like they are ready. Yeah. And I think because triggers can be so, they can really be devastating at times mm -hmm. and make a, what could be an enjoyable thing really the exact opposite. Right, right knowing and identifying those things and getting prepared so that it, right. like it's it, not blindsided and exactly you're not, mm -hmm, yeah and sometimes you can't help it you will be blindsided because yes. it's a new trigger you don't realize it all of that but if i think last week we were talking about starting to journal and starting mm -hmm. to kind of keep track mm -hmm. of okay when does this come up for me mm -hmm. i think really being able to know your body and know oh okay wait this doesn't feel right this is mine because everyone has a different version of anxiety yeah. um things come up and it, it, you might feel you were sweaty palms the the butterfly in your stomach and just recognizing mm -hmm. and sometimes even just accepting that some things are just awkward yeah. Um, yes. And so being able to tell the difference and journal that and take notes on that so that you can prepare for that trigger. Yeah. And I think a trigger is anything that causes mm -hmm. an immediate negative emotional response. And that can be anywhere from those symptoms of the stomach. Mm -hmm. It can be that in the chest. It can be mm -hmm. just feeling suddenly very angry or mm -hmm. irritated. It can be a desire to flee or avoid something mm -hmm. it can be you know there's a spectrum of triggers and mm -hmm. especially the holidays we have the same music we have the same sense mm -hmm. we have the you know and it's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year so we have all of these spoken and unspoken mm -hmm. expectations which can be triggers as well especially yeah. within relational dynamics if someone registers an unspoken mm -hmm. expectation or a spoken one so there's a plethora of potential triggers well, and I even think sometimes we forget, like I say a lot, our body keeps score. Mm -hmm. So you might like, I, I don't know that everybody recognizes that a smell can be a trigger. Yeah. And so your body might keep score. So I, I talk about grief and people will be like, I don't understand. I'm suddenly feeling sad and I, I'm down and this is coming up and that's coming up. And I'll be like, okay, well, what happened a year or two years ago around this time? Mm -hmm. Oh, so-and-so passed away. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a trigger. Mm -hmm. Your you don't even realize it, but your body realizes it's that time of year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at this time of year, we are around people that we might only be around annually. Yeah, and so that certain aunt that asks that certain line of questions mm -hmm. that always you dread or becomes some it feels like they're communicating something else mm -hmm. to you, or maybe you're feeling criticized or whatever that might be, right. that can be a trigger also. And so some of the ways that to, the best is when you can identify, and that's mm -hmm. really reflecting on years past, and like this ant or this scenario mm -hmm. always has me feeling depleted or anxious or upset mm -hmm. or what have you, Pre identifying those before mm -hmm. the holiday season begins and beginning to make a plan. I have found sometimes just having a phrase that helps me exit mm -hmm. out of a political debate or a line of questioning mm -hmm. or someone cornering me in the kitchen. And I mean having one or two phrases in your pocket, like that's an interesting point of view. Excuse me, I need to go help over here. Done, out. Yeah, that's yep. pre-gaming. Yep. Knowing that this is my phrase mm -hmm. for aunt so-and-so mm -hmm. to excuse myself. Mm -hmm. Giving yourself permission to remove yourself from those mm -hmm. interactions that are triggering, um, knowing that like maybe certain sense and all of that bring you back to a mm -hmm. certain, and you can't anticipate that. Maybe knowing when I hear that song or I smell that scent, I'm going to just tap out for five and go yep. take some deep breaths yeah. and maybe phone a friend. Mm -hmm. Or even just knowing your boundary. I know last week I talked about... Um, games at social events are not my jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate them, kind of despise them, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just being able to say, no, I'm good, no thank you, mm -hmm. and giving myself permission that that's okay. I yeah. don't have to be involved in every game. I don't have to do that if yes. it's gonna cause me that anxiety. Yeah, yeah, and then giving yourself space. 
Mm-hmm. Like, okay, this is this is not setting well with me. Mm-hmm. This is bringing me back to another time or a mm-hmm. loss or what have you, and just allowing yourself that time and space to process whatever's going on with the and trigger. To feel that emotion. I think that's something that everyone um, just struggles with, allowing yourself to be like, okay, I'm going to just feel this loss. Instead, mm-hmm. they push it down and try to push through and stay in that conversation mm-hmm. or listen to that whole song or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever it might be. But rather than just being like, okay, I feel this uncomfortableness. I feel this awkwardness. I feel mm-hmm. this sadness. Let me feel it. And then it'll move so much quicker. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if this sounds overwhelming or feels overwhelming mm-hmm. to you, if you see the holidays as like walking through a landmine and you just don't know when one's going to blow – come in and talk with us. We would love to work with you in identifying and getting a game plan together and helping mm-hmm. you heal and everything from um, holiday triggers so you might have a more pleasant holiday season. Give us a call. 813-434-3639. Bye. Bye.